What it do? What it do? What's the deal, man? What's the deal, man? You back on Fig with it real live. You feel me? Rock Star, Welcome what's to happening? The big leagues. Yes, sir. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Happy 5-1 day, man. Wah, wah, wah. Day. Yeah, wah, wah, wah. Shout out to my guys. Thank you, brother. Yeah, he put man. his headphones on. He said, "What's happening?" Yeah, but fill us in. Pause. Fill us in on this Troy Ass shit, man. What's going on with this shit, man? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let me let me let me fill you out on Troy Rack. Troy Rack. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So this sucker. So I'm 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 gonna train to where it all stemmed from. You know, I really did business with this man. So uh, 2011, the first Super Bowl in Arizona, I booked him for a meet and greet. Uh, his manager was alive, Hovain. He rest in peace right now. Hovain was a good guy. Rest Real in peace, Hovain. And it's the same nigga that he, it's the same nigga he smutting after he dead, right? Mm. So anyway, long story short, uh, we did a clubhouse. Whack is Whack One Hundred managing Troy Ass. Uh, his girlfriend is on clubhouse. Some some bitch named Wolf. So she in her feelings because. You know, niggas is saying that, you know, he shut down. He can't get no interviews nowhere. If that's the case, why he didn't get no interviews in his own city? He had to run West, call under WAC, and WAC put some buttons for him to get interviews. He wouldn't have no interviews if it wasn't for WAC. And that's facts. You feel me? Mind you, when the shit happened, I figured I had some type of rapport with him. So I'm like, okay, come on, Clubhouse, bro. The streets want to hear from you. You know what I'm saying? Woo woo. Nigga tell me he charging 130000 and he don't want me to fuck up that money. He charging so like, 130000 okay, for the man. interview? Shit. So, so look, this is proof. Nobody <clears throat> paid for that interview. They shut him down. He had to go run under whack, and whack had to press buttons. I don't know if y'all seen the No Jumper interview, but Adam even said, hey, man, what's up with you and whack? You know, whack called me, and he made sure this interview happened. Hmm. So it just goes to show you, like, these niggas is hoes, homie. So anyway, aside from that, right? They went and started the room on me, said I was hating on whack, doing business with Troy Ave. Troy Ave calls in, said he fucked my baby mama, said I'm a bum nigga. The reason why he uh, uh, told me 130000 because he knew I couldn't afford it, all this extra shit, right? I bring my baby mama in the room. Nigga, you know, we real hood niggas. Come on, my nigga. Yeah. This is my first baby mama. I got two baby mamas. This is my first baby mama. She ain't got nothing to lie about, my nigga. Bring her in. She say she ain't fuck the nigga. The nigga lying on his dick. He a trick. He tried to buy them some food and get him up to the room. They wasn't going for it. Mm. End the story. Deaded so, them on their own stage. So you right? so you doing all so hold on. He get a whiff of everything you talking about and he just happens to see your baby mama and then say he fucked. Yeah, but let's see, mind you, this is so I'm gonna I'm gonna explain the timestamp. So remember I told you I did a mean greet. My, yeah. my 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 baby mama went on a girl's trip like two, three weeks later, just so happened to run into the nigga, right? Yeah. Mind you, she tell the nigga, hey, yeah, my baby daddy was the one who booked you for the meet and greet. You feel me? Regular conversation. Nothing. But like I said, if a nigga did fuck my bitch, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm a real nigga. You feel me? Like, that shit happened every day. You can make mama just every day, B. So is this nigga, is this nigga real, is he, is he a real life snitch or what's going on with that? <laughs> 